Uh, I know you're going to give a lot of credit to uh, Team Canada and rugby, but you deserve some credit because last don't, night, never last night you called it. I, I just that I said you I thought think. that the uh, Tonga might take it a little bit, or maybe it was taking Canada for granted too lightly. Yeah, because they rested some of their players. They rested they ten of their players because yeah, they're a high ranked team, but our Canucks got it done. How big of a win is this? Huge. Very huge. Let's relive it right now. Thank you very much, Scott. <laughs> and after four long years of training, the Canadian rugby team finally took to the field in New Zealand last night for their first match of the 2011 World Cup. Our lads were facing Tonga in the opener. And while the experts didn't give the Canadians much of a chance, our boys weren't about to roll over. Lots of island boys on Team Canada. In fact, over three quarters of the team is from BC. Meanwhile, Tonga trying to strike some fear into the Canadians with their pre-match chant. Nice choreography there, fellas. Let's get back to the action. Canada in black, game going back and forth to start, but our boys strike first. Nice passing, and Jeb Sinclair will get the rock. He will cross the line here for the try. Conversion was good, so it was 7-zip Canada. Lots of Canucks making the trip to New Zealand. That's good to see. Tonga battles back late in the first. 10-zip Canada at this point when Siali Piautau splits the defenders and Moses right into for a try. Canada still led this one 10-7 at the break, but Tonga keeps coming in the second half, and again, it's going to be Piao Tao who gets the better of Canadian defenders again. His second try of the game made it 17-13 for the Tongans. Tonginians. No, I'll go with Tongans. Canada would battle back. 2013 at this point, but watch the physical play of our boy Aaron Carpenter basically takes half the Tonga defenders over the line with him as he gets a try here. Great work. Although Canada missed the conversion, so Tonga still had a 2018 lead, but Canada would not quit. And a few minutes later, they will take the lead. And the hero being Ontario's Phil McKenzie, who gets the quick touch and then battles it over the line right there. Canada would not look back. 25-20, the final as your 14-ranked Canadians shot the 12th-ranked Tongans. A huge win for our lads who will face France on Sunday. Another tough task, but the boys pretty pumped to win their opener. Here's captain and Victoria boy Pat Riordan on the amazing game and the amazing fan support. Yeah, I'd like to think we made him proud, judging by the reception uh, we got there at the end. Um, and, uh, you know, I think the guys are pretty proud of themselves, and I'm certainly proud of them. Um, I think, yeah, maybe in another win would help with that, but we got to just take those one by one and, uh, you know, look at what we did today and try and repeat it. Um, yeah, we've only got a four-day turnaround now, so, you know, that's going to be a pretty challenging for us. Um, we play again on Sunday. So, yeah, we, uh, yeah we've got a recovery uh, in about an hour's time, um, and then we'll have a medical check in the morning. But, yeah, Chauncey had an ankle injury. Um, doesn't look good at the moment. He's probably going to get some x-rays there, but the others are all uh, bouncing off the walls down there, so they're fine.